Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Um today we're gonna be taking a look at the Rams defense and um seeing or um you guys what positions I think we need to improve on and where I think we can do some depth of that. So let's get started. I'm not gonna start with the front seven and one of the bigger groups, the linebacker group. So, um, outside linebackers, we'll start with outside linebacker. Um, I don't think we need anybody. We got Larry Ford, Justin Collins, Chris Garrett, um, Obo. I don't think we need anybody for outside linebacker. Perfect, um, you know, uh, Larry Ford put 10 and a half sacks last year. Four, I think it was, the games he played. Before he got hurt, so I really don't think we need anybody to get outside linebacker. I think we're perfect where we are. We have some good outside linebackers. So let's move to inside linebacker. Um, so for inside linebacker, um, I think you know we got John Reader and Kenny Young. Justin Hollins played a little bit here as inside last year. But I don't think we need to make sure we are getting young. We are two starting um, inside linebackers. We don't have any problems with them whatsoever. We'll be good. Um, I don't think we need any inside linebackers either. Um, I think we're good. You know, um, I don't think we need any. Um, you know, they're, they got the job done last year. They can do it again this year. So, let's go to middle linebacker. So guys, middle linebacker, um, I don't think we need anybody for middle linebacker either, we got Michael Kaiser, um, he did a pretty good job last year, um, and he played in, um, you know, he did pretty good, you know, but we also got Terrell Lewis, that kind of moved around from the seven, so, on the line, he played a lot of, um, we probably got hurt and he played outside linebacker, so. But now we're talking about middle linebacker. Never mind. Um, well, middle linebacker, you know, we got Michael Geyser as our starter. I don't think we need anybody else. I think we're good. Um, so, let's move on to nose tackle. Nose tackle, we have Sebastian Joseph Day. Um, did a pretty good job. Um, did a pretty good job for his last year. Four, six, six, four, six hats, I think, for last year. Um, so we did a pretty good job. Um, you know, did us proud. You know, we're around. Um, so let's move to defensive tackle. Obviously, we traded Michael Crocker to the Lions for a seventh, which was way too low, in my opinion. He's gotten a fourth out of him, but never mind. Um, so we uh, got Ernie. Ernest Brown the third. Um and we got uh, 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 um got one more guy in the draft, can't remember his name. Um but Ernest Brown the third is really gonna help us. Um I forget the other guy's name we drafted. Can't remember. So I'll leave it at that. We'll move to right and left hand. Actually, we got Aaron Donald. Some people consider him as a right end. Some people consider him as a defensive tackle. But really, he plays all over the line, this guy. He can play any place on the line you want him to go. He can play it. So, you know, it doesn't really matter what you consider him as. He's still a beast. Still the same guy. He can still put up a lot of sacks. And he's most quarterbacks, works nightmares. So, um. Uh, I think he's right aimed, but you know, Google says he's a defensive tackle, so you know, it, all, it all depends what you think he is. Um, he really plays all over the D line, so it doesn't matter where you categorize him as. So, uh, yeah. Um, is that all the team? I mean, yeah, we'll go to secondary. We'll start on where. Right cornerback, obviously we got Jalen Ramsey as our starting right cornerback. Um, 
Jones is starting to come back. Did a good job last year. He's going to do a great job this year. Did a great job last year. He's going to do a great job this year. So not much else to say. <clears throat> now left cornerback is where we don't know who's going to start. Probably Darius Williams. We don't have David Long Jr. who plays a lot of the slots. There's a lot of the slot running. Also Terrell Burgess that could be a slot runner. So Darius Williams is probably going to start as a second corner as left cornerback. But don't count out David Long Jr. either. I think he's a really good corner. Um, he'll definitely get some playing time, I think. And I, I don't think he'll be a starter, but he'll definitely get some playing time. So, let's move over to um, strong safety. Strong safety, obviously. We lost John Johnson the third, who was our play caller. Um, he was a play caller for us. We lost him last year. He's been with the Rams for four. He was with, he was with the Rams for four years. Um, he left because we didn't have enough cap to re-sign him, so we had to let him go. Like just about everybody else, we didn't have enough cap, so we had to let him go. Um, but we have many people that could take that strong safety position and be play caller. We got Taylor Rapp, Nick Scott, Juju Hughes, Terrell Burgess, just to name a couple. All of them are worthy of taking that starting strong safety position and play call. Um, now I think some guys will be better at it, but then as Taylor Rapp, he's been with us longer than some other guys. He's been with us for four years, so I think he would be um, better going with because he's got more experience with the Rams. He knows all of the plays better than some of the rookies do. Um but I think the Robert should probably manage it. Nick Scott can manage it. Juju Hughes can manage it. Even Jordan Fuller, he's our starting free safety. I think I think he could do it. Yes, he's a rookie last year, doesn't have much experience. But played full time at the free safety position last year, so I think he could do a good job at, um, I think he could be a good play caller, but all depends, um, not sure who's going to be a play caller, um, so, I'm just have to wait and see, I guess, you know, um, but, I honestly think Taylor Rapp is going to be the play caller, I think he's going to be starting strong safety and the play caller for us. But I'm not sure about that. So we have to wait and see, I guess. But and then what I think we need, I think we need who do we need on here? I think we could use a middle linebacker, maybe a depth, maybe to help out guys or some. I think we can use one there. We don't necessarily need one. I think we could use one more. Um, I think an inside linebacker would help. Yes, we have a lot of linebackers signed, but a lot of those guys are outside linebackers. So I think um, inside linebacker would help. And I'm not saying we necessarily need one. It's not top priority, but I think we could use one um, and help with some depth and play a couple games. Um, but we're also going to look at, I think that's all, we're also going to look at um, special teams here um, in this video too. We're also going to look at special teams. So, we'll start off with Kicker. Obviously, we got Matt Gay, um, we signed him from the Bucks. Um, good Kicker, a 14 out of 16. Um, Field goal attempt, so pretty good. Um, not too bad. Um, so let's move to punter. The punter, we have Johnny Hecker as our starter, but we also have Corey Bajorkas, and I think I said that wrong, name wrong. I'm sorry if I did, but we have Corey Bajorkas, um, who we signed, um, who's getting signed up to the team. 
We also have Brandon Wright on the practice squad that we got for the Jags this year. So, do I think we need Corey? No, I don't think we needed him. We got him anyways. Um, so, yeah. Um, you know, this is what it is. Oh, so Johnny Hecker's going to be starter, I think, hopefully. But, um, just going to see. Yeah, punt and kick returner. Obviously, we got Nibs, Nibs, uh, Webster. I know I said his name wrong. And I'm sorry about this one, too. No, I said his name wrong, so sorry about him. But he's our punt and kick returner. Um, but Cooper Cup also returned some for us last year. So did Vance Jefferson. So did Raymond Callis. Um, so Nick Webster serves our main punt and kick returner. Um, Kind of a job, man. Average like six yards per carry. I think I, I think it was. I'm not sure about that, but did a good job for us. And uh, yeah. So guys, um, that's all for today. Uh, see you guys next time. And uh, yeah.